Crypto market meltdown. ETFs fail to ignite. Prices crash. Hey there, it's your boy Andrew here to shoot you some crypto news straight from the blockchain to your screens. Before we kick off, don't forget to check out our friends at Bybit.com. They're offering you a juicy $100,000 demo account so you can practice becoming a crypto millionaire. Links down below. Go grab it. Now, let's dive into the crypto drama. The party's over for cryptocurrencies, folks. They've given back all those sweet gains they made over the weekend. The Coindesk market index is down three cool percent over the past 24 hours, so it's not looking too hot. Hong Kong's getting ready to unleash its first batch of spot Bitcoin and Ether ETFs on Tuesday morning. But hold your horses, these babies haven't exactly set the world on fire. Bitcoin's been chilling around $63,000, not really going anywhere. I guess investors aren't too excited about this ETF debut. BTC's been sliding all day, dropping from $64,000 to a sad $61,800 before bouncing back to $63,000. It's still doing better than the overall crypto market, which is down 3%. All coins are also feeling the pain. Ethereum, Solana, and Dogecoin have all lost 4 to 6%. For weeks now, the crypto market's been stuck in a rut. No big stories, no crazy price swings. It's like a boring old grandpa taking a nap. Even though these Hong Kong ETFs are about to drop, they're not causing the same kind of hype as when the US spot Bitcoin ETFs launched. Back then, BTC nearly doubled in value in the months leading up to the big day. But this time around, investors are like, meh. But wait, there's a glimmer of hope. An executive from China AMC, one of the companies behind these ETFs, said they might sell even more shares on the first day than the US debut did. That's like $125 million, baby. And get this, another crypto exchange guy said they've already raised a ton of cash for these new ETFs. So maybe there's still some excitement brewing under the surface. The China AMC boss also said that these ETFs are going to be great for crypto because they'll bring in more money and get more people involved. Let's see if he's right. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Stay tuned for more crypto adventures. And remember, if you're not in crypto, you're missing out on the coolest party in town.